away from uh, Kampala capital city and its problems, let's look at uh, the Thanksgiving that uh, was uh, an event that was held in Nakaseke district as President Museveni marked the, his 80th birthday. Well, at 80, President Museveni uh, celebrated with his family and uh, uh, the event was also attended by government officials as well as the supporters of uh, President Museveni. Um, when it came to parliament, the issue was raised by members including Chira Municipality MP, Honorable Semu Junganda, uh, questioning the capability of President Museveni at 80 years to continue to lead Uganda. And uh, before he was shut down on point of order, uh, he had uh, already uh, informed the House that at 80, a uh, person has lost steam, has lost physical strength, and he says that even in his decisions, President Seven is becoming more erratic. That's what he pointed out. He actually proposed that we should adopt uh, a system where a president is subjected to physical and mental fitness tests like it is done in the U.S. And now we ask whether this should be a matter of concern, uh, looking forward at the plans uh, in Spana, especially in the NRM and in other circles where President Seven is slated to uh, again run for another term of five years after 2026. 20, <laughs> Let me start with uh, Dr. Jared Werewanzala. And the question is simple. Do you think this should be a matter of concern as uh, uh, Honorable Semuju and others like Santa Room? Um, I mean, raised this matter in Parliament? Yeah. Because, because <clears throat> President Seven, even at 80, you look at his stash and, and, and you can be convinced that he's actually younger than his age. Uh, Apple, I think this discussion is very important. Mm -hmm. The reason why it is important is that uh, since the constitution was made, it was supposed to be translated, disseminated, so that people understand its content. But uh, 30 years later, we haven't seen that. If you go to Article 105 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, it gives you circumstances under which a president can be removed from office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason for removal is very clear, that if the person is physically or, uh, or, or mentally incapable of performing the tasks of the president, mm -hmm. this person can be removed from office. And the law uh, envisioned that at a certain point, someone could be incapacitated either because of an illness or because of age. Mm. And we all know that age comes with a lot of things. I am discussing generally, not particularly about the president, <laughs> mm. uh, but certain people can lose their head uh, as early as Joe Biden at 81. Mm. Well, Biden is, is having a problem called dementia that also comes many times with the age, although sometimes can come early mm. because of uh, challenges you go through as a person. This when you can forget, you sometimes can lose your mind and you even don't know where you are. You could be begin talking to your late father. And so if you have responsibilities like that of a president, of welfare, of the citizens, of security of the country, then you put the country at a risk. Mm. And I think that's why Joe Biden said, I'm not contesting again, let me stop here. But of course there are some who can, but, but Mugabe insisted, but towards his late 80s, he started falling at airports. Mm. <laughs> when he's getting out of a flight, walking on the runway, he falls down and people are struggling to carry him. So naturally, mm. these things happen. And the condition did not uh, end there. Mm. Of, uh, it has sections on the procedure of the removing the president. One is that if any member of parliament believes that the president is incapable mm. of doing his duties because of health, then the president they, 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 they can bring a notice of a motion 
to mm. the speaker supported by one third of all members of parliament. Mm. When it is received by the speaker, the speaker has to write to the uh, chief justice and copy in the president mm. and say, I have received this notes of motion backed by this. Can we take action? Then the chief justice has to appoint a, 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 a person, a medical board. This medical board should be composed of competent persons who are supposed to examine the president within seven days. They're supposed to write the president to appear before the board and be examined. Now, the law is also very clear. If the president, for some reason, becomes very stubborn mm -hmm. and appear, refuses to appear before that committee, then the, the parliament can move ahead mm. with the motion. But also, it gives a chance to the president to go and defend himself or his lawyer for people to believe why he should not be removed. So, the procedure is there. Maybe the Honorable Semuju may have brought it uh, sarcastically, mm. but he knows about these processes. Mm. They exist. And therefore, for me, my role is to make sure that the citizens know that they exist and there's nothing wrong mm. by subjecting the pre president to uh, but, medical but, 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 but in the case of President Seven, like I said... In the case, there's a good reason to believe. Yeah, I, I, I know I'm asking you, from what you see, President Seven looks to be younger than his age. I mean, he's the physique, the stature, and, 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 and actually that is what um, uh, the Honorable Deputy Speaker um, responded. And, and other members of parliament, when they were shutting down uh, Honorable <laughs> Semuju, they were saying, there's no reason. The, the money is still fit. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> the speaker mm. should, have should have invoked the constitution to guide the members of parliament about the law mm. and about the processes. Mm. Because she's not a medical person who has examined the head of state for her to reach that conclusion. Uh, but uh, what am I saying? is that uh, it is normal to have these processes mm. take place. Mm. And it is normal that we can sometimes test what we, uh, we, what we are put in the law. But then let me conclude that. I am a student of sowing the mustard seed. Mm. I read the president's book, which he himself wrote. And in the book, he did not know exactly his when age. he was born, he was born. Then he, and, uh, that means he could be younger. He said, <laughs> than "No, mm. actually, younger or older. <laughs> he relates to a war which which ended around 1949, mm. and then he talks of his dad fighting the African king's rifles, which mm. happened below before uh, 1944, mm. and then he he talks of being baptized when he was older mm. in 1950 something, and himself walking there. Mm. So." <laughs> Even the birthday, the, the current birthday, honestly, I'm not very sure about it. I saw uh, before the 2021 elections, a bishop in one of the, the, the dioceses in Nyankole mm. uh, went with, I think there were celebrations, and then said, oh, I finally found mm. where, the the, 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 where the president's <laughs> name was recorded. Mm, yeah. But uh, to be sincere, mm. I do not believe the, w what was published. The 15th September. Uh, probably, maybe the actual age is not known and we are all speculating. But mm. this is not to say that he's incapable of doing mm. his job mm. because I'm not a medical person. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Richard. Um, the, the members, including Honorable John Baptist Loki, uh, processed same use proposals saying President Seveni cannot be subjected to periodic medical checkups because he has not shown signs of failing to lead Uganda. And the matter was put to rest there and then. Do you think when, it when is you know a bit something of, we can when discuss? When you know a bit of President Museveni, President Museveni subjects himself to medical checkups more regularly than the rest of us. Mm. The man cares about his health. Mm. He's, 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 he's a health care freak. In my earlier days uh, as a journalist and part, sometimes part of the, of the team that covers the president, I went to his gym. I actually have a, a, 
a magazine. The, the news used to produce a Saturday magazine. Mm -hmm. I have a photo on the front page. He was there and then I was behind him. So, so this about his health, he's really a freak. Mm. So that's why. The second thing is, where does this conversation come from? It is because Uganda has become a presidentialist state. Mm. Everything, garbage in Kampara goes to the president. Mm. Mm. A, 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 a small piece of land for I don't know who goes to the president. Mm -hmm. Uh, border borders. <laughs> so, this conversation, because it has become a presidential system, mm -hmm. a unit in the office of the president or state house for everything, a cholera unit, an HIV unit. Uh, uh, my, my, I was telling my brother-in-law we should write and ask for a presidential advisor on those people who marry from the West. <laughs> so he could get a job, maybe he can fit for that one. We have had these conversations. Uh, I told you up here that I am considering being a cultural leader, a sabakanga. We create out, we create out of Bukanga, and I, I get some historians. Yes, and I get 60 million. It is, I get Dr. Wiriha to write a paper. It's an archaeological history of the sabakanga. And we just fight. So this presidentialism. So it, it is because of everything ends up there. Ends at the table of President Museveni. And so there are two uh, phenomena. One is presidentialism, mm -hmm. but because the president for four decades has been Museveni, they have also become Museveniism. So people want, constitutionally, it is there and in the law that we should know the health of the president mm -hmm. and the procedures. Mm -hmm. But it shifts from that general and goes to the person of President Museveni mm -hmm. because for four decades, people, who, who else do you want them to talk about? So why my, my very good friend, Nani uh, Ngand, may do these things tongue-in-cheek. But you see, he raises yeah. important issues. And a pertinent issue. Yeah. But also, on the other side, I can urge that, first of all, to discriminate and stigmatize an elderly person is, is wrong. That, is because that, of the, is that because they are elderly. Because they are, yes, because they are elderly. So when you start talking, then people start looking at their fathers and their grandfathers, they should die. They, they, are, <laughs> they are useless. So I would say, so, but you see the conversation for me mm. is the pathway to the presidency. Mm. We need, where our focus and energy should be is what are the decisions that our courts have given us after every election and the presidential, uh, presidential candidates who didn't go through have gone to court. Mm. What, has, what have been those declarations by court? What have they asked? They have declared it has not been free and fair. Mm. They have declared you need to do these reforms. Here we go towards 2026. No reforms yet. Nothing. So, you see, if the pathways to the presidency were clear, then the debate about who goes would be clear. People would trust who they give, and mm. it would be free and fair. After the Tunisia revolution, mm -hmm. people elected a 92-year-old man. They felt at that time he was the stabilizing factor. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, okay, we want another one. Here now, in America, Biden has gone and made some missteps. They have said, please, step down. Step aside. So the, 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 this takes away from our focus on, in my view, the fundamental, which should be the democratic pathway to the presidency, which, in my view, President Museveni has choked, strangled, mm. starved, <laughs> and it is on uh, in ICU. If there is anything remaining, mm. so, so what happens now? If, if uh, such a uh, a debate, which you say is crucial, is, is is strangled, and yet, like I said in the beginning, we see President Museveni is preparing all his groups are preparing him for another term. There is no group preparing him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> group preparing him. <laughs> president Museveni is my president. <laughs> okay, he's preparing himself. <laughs> okay. Mm. There's no group. You see, why I don't debate him mm. very much President Museveni's age, I don't bother. President Museveni was in, in school with my father from junior second grade. Mm. So even if he's different in age, and my father died the other day, mm. close to me. So even if they are very different in age, it's not too different. And I mean, that's not the, that is taking me away. 
That, that my bishop, that's my bishop, by the way, my friend too. Mm. He's a PhD, he's a researcher. He, he was a deputy teacher in my school, in Tajo school. He became a around here. He went and researched. I don't want those things divert. <laughs> they become a diversion for me. Mm. When 2026 is here, all the things we need to put in place that the Ugandans can choose free and fairly. The president they want, old or young, mm. are not in place. Mm. And we that are is the issue. Yeah, and we are in circles. Thank you. Viewers, send in your comments and observations. We still have uh, some time to discuss this matter. And we we'll really need your input. Tell us what you think about this urge, though it was strangled, to have um, <laughs> the capability of the president checked in one way or another. Honorable Nyanjula, what do you see? Well, um, though Baguma says this was a tongue in cheek uh, from Semujunganda, he also says it, 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 it sounds pertinent. Mm. Well, I'll start from uh, where Dr. here stopped and uh, talk about the Constitution. You see, the framers of the 1995 Constitution uh, put some limitations in the Constitution. And to understand why they put these limitations, especially on the presidential Agility. powers, mm. you need to read the preamble of our Constitution, narrating our history, saying knowing our dark history, and they go on and state mm. other reasons. And therefore, they put safeguards. Mm. And uh, for me, two of them were major. Where they talked about term limits, mm. and where they also talked about the age limit. And uh, of course, you all remember how the term limits were removed from the Constitution, the amount of money that was involved in bribing members of parliament, mm. And then, I remember when Museven was asked what Africa's problem is, he responded and said, Africa's problem is leaders who overstay in power. In power. And he put in place, that was then. and he was also supporting that, mm. the term limit was 10 years. He went ahead and said, I don't think anyone should go beyond 10 years. There's nothing that a leader can do beyond 10 years. In fact, if that leader stays, he would even be undoing the, the good things that he would have done in 10 years. Well, moving forward, the term limits were removed from the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And now, age caught up with him. And I don't want to go into the details of how that but was removed from the constitution. Yes, but he also with had Kamara. an interview with Kamara. Mm. And Kamara asked him, but do you think someone at 75 years can lead this country? Mm. And he responded. He said, no, I have never seen him use that energy. He said, no, at 75 that person would be so old. Mm, Being have, the have president, bigger, you mm. need someone who is energetic. Mm. And for me, this reminded me of uh, Animal Farm. I'm sure my colleagues here have read Animal Farm, where they made rules, the seven rules that uh, they came up with, mm. where they were saying no animal should kill another animal. Mm. No animal should drink alcohol. <laughs> no animal should sleep in bed. When they took charge, they said no animal should kill another animal without a reason. Mm. They added a clause. No animal, the animals can drink alcohol as long as it's not in excess. <laughs> they said the animals can now sleep in bed as long as they sleep there without bed sheets. And uh, for me, I think this is where this country is going. However, for me, this does not surprise me. Because if you look at uh, Algeria, and I'll talk about the former president, Aziz, but it's called Aziz? Butafrika. 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 Now, this man was uh, more like a vegetable, 
on his deathbed in Switzerland. He didn't even know what was happening, but his party members were saying, this one is the best. He could not even take himself to the toilet. And they went ahead, nominated him. There were public protests. Some voices came out and they said, no, but can we have a look at this president that you're nominating? The party members said, no, 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 no. That is not a requirement. The Electoral Commission says you can get the papers mm. and submit them. And well, eventually the man was overpowered, forced to resign. And in a few months after that, he died. The second example that I want to give you is the example of uh, Paul Beer. Yeah, Cameroon. Cameroon, who has already declared that he's going to run for, fifth, for his fifth term. And I mean, still it is those that are close to him who are saying, no, you're the best. You're the only man with a vision. We saw him in the U.S. at a U.N., I think it was a U.N. conversion, a U.N. summit. The man did not even know where he was. But, 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 but for, for who, God's sake, where, where are we? Those examples, he was busy fighting. Those examples, those examples you have cited. Yes. Uh, in President Museveni's sake, you, you don't see signs of aging. I, I, I don't know which lenses you use to see him, mm. but for me the lenses that I use can actually tell that the man is aging and he knows it. Even those that are close to him can clearly see that. Initially, mm. Museven would go for campaigns and he would go and campaign at the sub-county level. Mm. Am I lying? Now, he has shifted the campaigns are at the district level. I'm sure in the next election, mm -hmm. the campaigns will go to the regional level. But we may not even there. We may not even go there. And they are putting in place safeguards for him because they understand that the man has lost his strength. He can no longer move around the country. That is why we are hearing proposals of let the members of parliament go and contest. Mm -hmm. Then they'll come to parliament and be the, the ones president. to vote for the president. Eh? Apollo, does that <laughs> not clearly tell you yeah. that the man, like he told Kamara in that interview, at 75, you do not have the energy mm. to run the country? Yes. Thank you so much, our viewers, and uh, we continue to probe this issue. Um, Dr. Jada, I don't know if you, if you now um, pick another perspective to this. Uh, in in any way and uh, though it is it, it, it is constitutional like you said though it uh, is um, like Honorable Nyanjula said that over time the energy uh, is, is going down how do you respond to those who are saying no we haven't seen signs in any way <laughs> you haven't seen signs. And, and even from you, when you look at the man walk, if you look at the man speak, you, you see he's still, I don't know. Maybe Honorable Loki, because mm. he came from Karamoja, you might have not seen the earlier Museven. <laughs> we who saw President Museven I in know. the 90s, we saw him as videos in the uh, 70s, 80s, today. Uh. He is a person who has to think very fast. Talk very quickly mm. and very clear to the point. Mm. Lately, we are seeing a lot of recycled speeches. Mm -hmm. That even when you just get the state of the nation of last year mm -hmm. and the previous year, and it's they're almost the same. Yet the context and dynamics in the country keep changing. Mm. So for me, that uh, shows reduced energy. Mm. Then before he used to work with the NRM secretariat, you'd see like some kind of uh, intention to have a functioning NRMC, you no know, party. Now I can see groups, um, okay, group mobilizing from this side, uh, Mozeto Vakumeini, this side, Abazukuru, they are all resourced, <laughs> and then he seems to be scared of his own political party, mm. that it must be kept at bay because it has systems and procedures through which Actually, they can say maybe let's, let's do things in a different way. So you find leaders at, at Chadondo, Chadondo mm. 
uh, you know just uh, running around here and there and cause no decision making in the party you saw recently the sec people had to petition several times another group had to meet his vice chairperson in chadondo the the the, 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 the honorable uh, uh, Chigongo mm. before he went to convince him to hold a sake meeting for a long time they are not met so you you so say, you, you think say the signs are, are clear i think there are signs you know why did we have a retirement in public service mm -hmm. that when you are 65 mm. one mm. you are able to give room yes for others mm. but you are also not as effective and efficient as you used to be mm. when you were young so and then uh, for spe special cases like professors, because you have read something for a long time, your replacement will be had and your knowledge grows over time. Mm. So they like say, the okay, now we mm. can have you at 7 to 75, mm. or even give you a contract at 80. Now, uh, uh, these things are basic science. You cannot oppose biology. I used to play football. Today I cannot run for 30 minutes that they were used to run. Mm. So it's just normal that someone... Couldn't it be because uh, perhaps because he has been in power for um, a long... Okay, not a long time, but, but some good time. He may have built structures and now he's delegating powers to those structures. Uh, yes. And, 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 and uh, he, he lets himself handle those um, more... More, more, more important issues. Compared to very, very bad examples in Africa, like Somalia, like South Sudan, like, you know, uh, Congo, probably we are a little bit mm. better, but we are not the best. Mm. Because we are seeing increasing dilution of state institutions. If you look at the parliament we had in the 90s and in the early 2000s, and the one we have today are totally different. It is diluted. So we can't say that an institution like the current parliament, me for instance, I can trust it for amendment of the constitution for the better of, of the, the country, country because mm -hmm. they seem to serve individual interests of now people, which we call state capture. If you go look at police, it is increasingly becoming more biased and mm. partisan and towards. So such an institution which is brutalizing potential leaders who will come in the next government cannot be an institution that will serve the other mm. leaders. Mm. We are seeing command structure in the UPDF. I don't think it was by accident that the president had to appoint his son, his son. at this point in time to be the CDF. That is, that is seeding. You are seeding, but also you are powers. controlling the power mm. within the mm. family. You have the power within the family. We are looking at the coffee sector. <laughs> that now a son-in-law has to come and be the other side, be a champion in the coffee sector. Does it mean you don't, and then you are collapsing the coffee authority in the ministry? Does it mean these institutions cannot work? We are seeing the inspectorate of government scared of going for others until they have consulted somewhere. They are not independent. So how can such an inspectorate, which cannot really investigate corruption independently, be trusted to you know, so for me, I believe that mm. so the institutions are collapsing, collapsing, collapsing. We are seeing the local government. We have shared responsibility without power and resources. Mm. That out of a budget of 72 trillion, 6.5 only is to service all local governments in the country. And the rest of the money is controlled at the center. Huh? Uh, Richard, These are examples. <laughs> Richard, several mm. examples have been cited and... Um, it, 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 it brings out, it, it is evidence to, to um, possibly how the president is not in touch with, with, with the work on the ground. What, what now can your friend Semujo do next? Now that he should go and we'll shut down. <coughs> no, I've told him mm -hmm. I'm on here with him every Tuesday, so <laughs> we, we, we have a meeting every Tuesday, every week. So first of all, I told him that he has to fight for his political life. Mm. In Ichira, <laughs> you, you have to. Yeah. <coughs> One at the constituency level, mm. but also at the national level, mm. because you see, you see, Semuju is a politician, and he would like to play a role at the national level. Mm. And I think he has certain capacities mm. uh, that, that surely he, he, he would be balanced, I think, mm. and an asset 
Um, so I told him, you have to go, because you drowned. You see, President Museveni is, is, is a, a big presence. Yeah, he's a big presence. You, 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 you can't ignore that. You have to be very aware of that. And he's also a big influence. And he now has a long experience, a network, resources, and a lot of experiences. Mm. So these things <coughs> make him powerful. But you see, uh, uh, like I, I say this all the time, you cannot cheat biology. <laughs> biology is in the hands of God. Mm. <laughs> you can, but you can, you can manage it. Mm. You know you can manage it, uh, massage it for what, a while. What but Parliament you did was managing biology. But, but you can't cheat it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is why you are aware when you are younger, mm. that's 75, and you confess it. Mm. It's a bit of a line. In, in, uh, in life cycles. Yeah, 18 or 20 is there. Right? They, they, you know, they, they are lines mm. in life cycles. So you agree, we all agree that 75 is a line. Now, but now we are talking about 80. You no, know, you can push it. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You can push biology, but you can't cheat it. Uh, it, it will always be there. <laughs> and, 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 and so that is, uh, that is for sure, because that is natural. The other thing is this comparison that when you want to measure, when you want to, when you are talking about height, that then you bring pigmies. Yeah. <laughs> and then so, a person taller than a pigmy, then you say that one is tall. That one is tall. <laughs> this is, this like is the problem. You are relating to those who are comparing yeah. President Seven to... No, the ones yeah. who say, you see, then he's very strong, then it's democracy, yeah. then... Uh, yeah. You see, even you, Apollo, you are constrained. When you say I stay, stayed long in power, you say, no, no, maybe not long. You correct yourself. <laughs> because we said, hey, it. but it is true that 40 years is long in power yeah. under any circumstances. <laughs> it is a long time. It's more than a generation. Mm -hmm. So we even edit ourselves mm. <laughs> to say the truth. <laughs> because we are careful about facts mm. and the meaning they evoke. And therefore the actions that may come. This is where we are. <laughs> so we, 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 keep, we keep pretending. Mm. Yeah, that you see, when you grow old as a man, mm. the architecture of your plumbing mm. demands that you discharge fluids more regularly. <laughs> that is the architecture of the plumbing of a man. Mm. Yes, it is science. Mm. So you will have to move with the toilet. Mm. Yes. So, so, so these things we, <laughs> we can't teach them. We have so so Apollo. That's the so other I, thing. I, are you in for? Oh, are, are you in for periodic medical checkups? No, I told you mm. I don't need to be in. That man does more checkups than we do. But, but he flies out of this country. We, he they, goes they to remain, the best they, hospitals. They remain personal. They he, remain he, private. He, he he doesn't shake your hands. He covers his nose. Gosh, he eats. No, but biology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm saying that you can manage it, you can massage it. I like yeah. the emphasis yeah. on biology. Yes. <laughs> the other thing is, yeah. you see, we cannot sit here yeah. and say that we shall get President Museveni to relinquish the presidency by shooing. Shh. Shh. No. Mm. <laughs> he can't just give away. No, I mean, <laughs> that's the other fact. It's a fact we have to face and we have to deal There's with. There's something I read from the members of parliament who shut down Semuju and, 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 and his group who were agitating for uh, periodic medical, mental and physical uh, tests. It's like, uh, like you said in the area um, segment, that they, they, they want to embarrass the, 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 that group now wants to embarrass the president. No, you see, well, I, for I, me, why I, I said I, tongue asking, in cheek, yes. I am asking, mm. uh, is it right to look at such a, a pertinent issue, like you said, in that way that it is embarrassing the president? No. Me, Apo, I don't even believe that Semuju is embarrassing the president. Mm. Semuju is a journalist. Mm. He knows what he will say on the floor of parliament mm. that will flow out. Mm. He's generating public debate. If you say it in another way, mm. <laughs> it will not go to the public, it will not go to the social media, it will not come to television. Mm. So he's a clever, creative messenger, communicator, and this is what he studied, this is what he has done. So that's what he was doing, take this debate out. By the way, President Yoweri himself in the way he works, mm. he would come and say, okay, let's go for a test. Mm. He knows 
if you went subjected him to him to a test, he's probably healthier than more than half of those people yeah, in Parliament. Yeah, I had some people challenge. He's probably healthier than more than half saying of the people if, in Parliament. If we, if we took you for a, on a race with... No, me, I'm saying him. Oh. He will say, okay, I am going for a test and the results are here. And you, you the one who dares come. Mm. Because he will outpace them in walking, he will outdo them in the gym, he will... <laughs> Yeah, but you see, for the national interest, we cannot trash biology. Mm, mm, mm. And we all agree, including the people who did the constitution, he was there, he was at the helm, including mm. the interviews he has done, including the books he has written. This all is there from him. From him. So it is him <laughs> against his word. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Honorable Doreen. Yes. Uh, finally, from you on this issue, um, do you think your friend Semiju should and then his uh, other colleagues should push and push and push for 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 these uh, physical and mental tests or we, we can well i think the we honorable semuju and the other members of parliament have done their part mm. probably this is something that the public didn't know that even existed in the constitution mm. And uh, from that debate, really, that we have got, we got very brilliant insights of the Constitution mm. from a uh, doctor here. So Ugandans need to pick it up from there. But Ugandans, really, um, for a very long time now, mm. have been saying the man is aged, he needs to pave way, holding him against what he said himself. He confessed uh, that at 75 years, mm. you're not energetic to lead this country. So the man is now 80 Yes, so it is. Uh, it is clear. Mm -hmm. It uh, it is as 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 clear as that. But uh, the other thing that I wanted to emphasize is that uh, the Bariomuses who are now hiding behind them being doctors mm -hmm. are just opportunists. They are just trying to say what they are saying for their own selfish interests. They are the ones who Just like down uh, the supporters of Paul Bia group, are yeah. telling him you're the only visionary man. Just like the supporters of uh, Aziz in Algeria were also telling him the same thing. And I was still giving examples of um, showing that uh, Real M7 also agrees that uh, he's aging. Uh, Elder Waguma here will probably remember when uh, Dr. Tiseka handed over a car to a musician, Basude. Seven was so bitter, he was furious. He said, but how can you be a senior leader mm. and you're handing over cars to a musician? Now, Seven has not only uh, actually looked for one musician, the entire industry now, Catherine Kusasira, Fulu mm. Figa, who... They are the ones that are... Kenzo. <laughs> probably could also think... Mm. It's because of, 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 of age, and he's trying to somehow be secure. Now, the other thing that I pick, mm -hmm. apart from saying, yes, the new uh, proposals that are coming of parliament voting, mm -hmm. for me, I think it's also to pave way for his son. Mm -hmm. Because clearly, deep in his heart, Mr. M7 knows that uh, Muhozi cannot win an election. Therefore, if this started with him, of members of parliament voting the next president, it will be much easier mm. for the son to also come and then he's voted uh, from uh, parliament. But which is really very... Did, did you dare General Mohozi that if he stands, you'll well, contest against I was, against I him? was very prepared because I know I have what it takes to lead this country better than him. And unfortunately... I learned that he has stepped I missed, down. I missed your comment <laughs> to his tweet. I should look for it. <laughs> uh, and, and, and unfortunately, the man has stepped down. But yeah. uh, Apollo, just back to the point. For me, it is rather unfortunate that our leaders who should be utilizing their time to think uh, for this country mm. are now utilizing their time, their brains you know, planning on Thanksgivings, how to celebrate eight years. The other day we were seeing them celebrating 50 years in marriage. Uh, then we are now going to see another, cel we saw Moho's birthday parties and a lot of money is spent there. Now we are going to see another party from Moho's stepping down, not to contest against his father. 
which is really very absurd. I think we Thank deserve better so as much. a country. We only have less than 10 minutes. Uh, one comment from you, um, Doctor, on what Honorable uh, Wanyanjula talked about, uh, like what we saw in, in Chijaguzo, um, Nakaseke district. Did you think these are just birthdays? Me, I, I think it's much not. more than birthdays. Yeah, of course these are campaigns. I think mm. I've talked it here and at other media houses where I've been asked about it. Mm. Uh, all these Thanksgivings we are having, whether by members of parliament, they are all campaign forums. Mm. Bring people together and then you pass out your message. Mm. And uh, because a Thanksgiving you bring you know, you'll bring different categories of society. These are bishops, sheikhs, you have the youth present. So all the whole constituency, all the whole community is represented. So it's a good ground mm. for campaigning. But like that one was so significant in that uh, you saw the speeches there. And what came in the house mm. was that, oh, he's still 80, mm. but he's still... <laughs> very effective and he can move us forward mm. those messages came out very very clearly mm. yes. from you camp the, the, these are campaigns <clears throat> first is the, the the there is also a proposal to change the presidential term limit to seven years uh, so while you are thinking about five it could be seven yeah. that, you, that you could be yeah. president for the next seven years Wow. Yeah, so that's that's so celebrating it is the, the, so three quick things. One, the president actually as said, we, as I we, am as uh, wind up, said, I am sorry mm. for the road. Yeah, he actually said, mm. I am oh. sorry for the road. He donated 50 million and the bus. No, for me, he said, mm. I am sorry for this road. And so our president work on that road. apologizing mm. because the road is not done. And said in the past they used the thin layer and uh, not mm. good for this. The president also said, I am coming back here to Kwaro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the president in charge of the roads. I am sorry they have not been done, but I'm coming to Kwaro. Mm. So the solution is what now to the roads? Carving. <laughs> 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 so I, I really want to, to to feel a bit sorry for the people over well. Mm. The third and final thing Why is that? it was so Psalm chapter ninety verse ten mm. that the celebrant gave. The, 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 the it's, it's as sounds. for the days of our years in them are seventy years, and if men should be in strength. 80 years and the greater part would be labor and trouble. Psalm is what? Psalm <laughs> 90, mm -hmm. verse 10. Mm. Yes. For weakness overtakes us, <laughs> and we shall be chastened. <laughs> that was the main, the main celebrants. Mm. So please read Psalm 90, 10. <laughs> and we wish uh, my president, my yeah. uncle, my uh, 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 very happy eight decades yeah. of life. Thank you so much, our viewers. Our time is running out. I have to apologize that uh, I cannot read the messages. Uh, my machine has yes, an issue. And you are also apologizing like the railroad. road. Mm. <laughs> uh, we may not read those messages, but we will consider them in one or another. Finally, from you, uh, Honorable Doreen, because uh, you, you even have uh, uh, an issue with the Electoral Commission and you threatened Mm. The Electoral Commission uh, giving them uh, a seven day ultimatum if they don't register PFF or um, you, you, may, you may go to court of. No, you actually make sure you send your crop salt TV to Katonga mm. on Monday. I hope the road will not be cut off as uh, usually is. Mm. Because the excuses being given by the Electoral Commission, you could clearly see they were influenced. Because the reasons that were being given is because we have... You're picking colors. Picking colors. That uh, uh, resemble those of uh, we only existing have, political parties. We, we only have three primary colors. We have red, we have blue, and we have green. green. All these other colors are secondary colors. So... The, even if we had picked green, they would have said that is for DP. Even if we had picked red, they would have said that is for UPC. So what we did, we picked royal blue. 
the color for FDC, Dajana Nkumbi, is sky blue. So he said our color is going to be royal blue and white. So that excuse did not make sense. But also for the Electoral Commission to say our color is like that of Najana Nkumbi mm. shows they are working in the interest of Najana Nkumbi. Mm -hmm. Because Jema has blue. Yeah. But the Jema is throughout blue. Mm. UPC has blue. Nope, the biggest percentage is blue. So the explanations they are giving did not make sense. Then they talked about people's front for freedom and... Uh, People power front mm. being the same. Mm. In a country where we have SDP, we have DP, we have CP, really. But, but now people, besides your, 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 your argument, will still look at you as people who want to, to, to remain in defiance every time. No. Why can't you pick other colors? We, 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 know, we know our rights, and our rights ought to be respected. Okay. Sky blue and royal blue are not the same color. But maybe as I conclude, okay. they were also talking about uh, how the name is, was being reserved. Mm. That name they are talking about, people power front. Mm. The reservation happened in November 2023. But according to the law, you cannot reserve a name forever. <sighs> the maximum you're given is two months. So there is no way you can say that a name is, is being reserved. No, the law says if there is a party with the same name. So these people, the, the expiration date requirement in the law actually expired. Dr. One comment as we conclude on, on that issue. Uh, when I see what's going on, I think it can be rectified. Mm. Uh, of Through course, defiance of course, I did Katonga. not know. Mm. I did not know that the PPF, the other... <laughs> 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 the, the antibiotic had booked there as in November last year. Because when you book a name, even with uh, the registrar of companies, mm. it expires after 21 days. Yeah, exactly. So I think the issue of the name should not be used in this case. Probably for me, what I saw that was more uh, confusing was mm. the issue of the, the main color. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The main color. Uh, because like in UPC, the main mm. color is red. Mm. And then... But, but uh, Noop also used it mm -hmm. in one or the other. But when I saw these blues so close, but then they were, they were saying that they did not describe the meanings of their symbols, their colors, and the, I, those, saw, I saw that in the rest are, of the excuses, <laughs> So if there is that gap, I think it can be uh, agreed upon. They can reach a consensus. Well, unfortunately, you, you hope they will agree? Unfortunately, we are yet no, to get a response. Protest, uh, protests, unfortunately, they will be stopped. You see, they in law they even say Doreen Nyanjura and Nyanjura Doreen are not, yeah, the, same. not the same. So you cannot say sky blue <laughs> and royal blue are the same. They, they are not. blue moving towards now purple. So <laughs> <laughs> so because there are different <laughs> shades of blue. Yeah. You, you have done a lot to, <laughs> to vulgarize P, P, F, no, no. Uh, antibiotics. Ap Apollo. Yeah. <laughs> On a real, <laughs> On a real serious it is note, <laughs> they are humans <laughs> are weak. Uh, we are very weak and frail. Uh, there are two things, though. There is divine wrath. There is also divine grace. Uh, I think some people need a divine grace. Uh, uh, <laughs> which people? <laughs> because, you see, let PFF and PPF. What is the problem? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, what, what is the problem? They, they I used to see both yeah, Absolutely. The mm. You see, the red thing argument was started with the uh, NUP. Yeah, and the UPC. UPC. And the UPC. And they were ignored. But really, uh, is UP, uh, NUP and UPC the same? No. No, so, but they are giving Doreen uh, and her, and her group. Time. No, mm. they are giving them publicity. Mm. They are not giving them a hard time. Okay, so yeah. they, should, they should be celebrating. Yeah, they are no, giving us publicity. They don't know what they are doing, <laughs> these guys. You would, you would register them quietly. Mm. And they remain quietly. Thank you uh, so we much. I never remain Our quiet. <laughs> it's been an exciting moment having you for all these two hours. Thank you so much, Doctor, for being part of this uh, discussion today. Thank you. And it's my pleasure. Uh, Honorable Dorin, it's uh, Thank profound. you so much. Honor to have you today. I've enjoyed the show with uh, Elder <laughs> Waguma here and, uh, and Doctor. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you so much, Richard. It's always a pleasure. By the grace of God. Mm. The divine grace of God. Now, thank you so much, our viewers. And uh, thank you so much, the production team. Those who sent in their comments and contributions, we are sorry we could not read them out, but we'll consider them. 
Uh, we'll catch up again next Saturday in another edition of the dialogue. We hope what we discussed here made sense anyway. I uh, wish you all the best. God bless you. Until then, God bless Uganda. <laughs>